Okay, okay, Eric Boyle's ready. Get on. Bell's gone, this one underway, the two men circling each other. Again, with this being the first time these two have met in any match of any sorts, anywhere, there might be a little bit of feeling out there really going. Although we could be back into a corner. Oh! Eric's now in the corner, one, thanks to Hollow Wicket's quick two, maneuvering. Right <laughs> <laughs> and I think you're going to see both these men being very careful with one another. I was about to say very slow pacing right now, but that's to feel each other out, to find their opportunity to take advantage over the other. Now with that arm, maybe Eric has found a way to capitalize over Hollow Wicked. Oh, wick, Hollow Wicked rolling through. Release himself of the pressure of Eric Royals. Maneuver and puts on uh, one of Now that front face champs will reapply. Standing side of arm bar. Uh, we're looking to step forward to perhaps release some of the pressure and escape. And he does bring it on Hollow Wicked. I, I think Eric Rose is probably known best for his power game, but he truly is a magnificent technical wrestler. He's got that pedigree of the Mid-Atlantic. Well, you saw almost a little bit of, I don't want to say panic in the body, in the body language of Hollow Wicked, but realizing that he was trapped under a larger opponent in Eric Rowe. You saw him squirm a lot more than I think you would normally in a, in a match where he would face somebody of equal weight. That's very true. Right now, Eric Royal, I think he would have the strength advantage, but we'll see. And he's pushing Hallow Wicked all the way down, but he's not able to get his shoulders down to the mat for a pinfall. We'll see if his body weight changes that. It sure does. Wow, look at that bridge. Very impressive from Halloween. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Eric Royal very confident in his power, but still not able to keep Halloween down at this point in the contest. Oh. Not that bridge. bridge. Wow. Not bringing Halloween down this time. Slowly, yeah, you could see. Energy expended finally got Halloga to collapse underneath the weight of Eric Royal. He's got to limber up before he proceeds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say, trying to shake loose some of the knots that he might just might just have received from his shoulders. So enthused. <laughs> to the I mean, bridging like that, especially with a, with a weight on top of you, the weight of another human being on top of you, will take a lot out of your shoulders and neck. Well, certainly, it's a lot of weight to withstand. Hollow Wicked, you see, instead of, uh, well, you could say, I was going to say, almost instead of wrestling out of the hole, decided to push Eric Royal to the ropes for relief. Oh, now sending Hollow Wicked off. Goes for a hip toss, but no, gets caught. Reversal from Hollow Wicked. Hollow Wicked tries to go for a clothesline. Eric Royal not going anywhere. No, he remains steadfast. Hollow Wicked even hurt himself on that strike. Nice use of the ropes to maneuver himself in reverse. Ooh. A maneuver. Wipes him out. Hollow Wicked, I don't even know if he knows where he's at right now other than in a ring. Cover one, two. two. See him quickly roll towards the ropes. Might just be out of instinct. He's dragged back up to his feet. Huge chop. And again from Eric Royal. Whip into the opposite corner. Up and over goes Hollow Wicked. Hollow Wicked now on the floor. Royal on the apron. Oh, misses a, misses a kick to Hollow Wicked. Eric now catching that boot. Oh, gosh. He's got him on the apron. Eric Rosen hooked. Oh, just plants him. Ops instead of driving him on the floor, apron to toss him back in the ring. That is indeed where the match is to be won. But the power that Eric Royal just displayed, able to toss Hollow Wicked from the apron to the center of the ring. Now goes for the cover. One, two, go. That low tackle, a staple of Eric Royal's repertoire. I mean, it's something that he uses not only to injure, but to insult and show his dominance over his opponent. 
not an insult to be a better competitor. It's not an insult to use your power to capitalize for a win in a wrestling match. It, it isn't, but it's the it's just that methodology, that like push almost, like a shove. Nobody likes being pushed out of the way. But it can be very effective. And now a superplex attempt. Hollow Wicked trying to fight off Eric Royal, and he does. Royal, though, but land on his feet, tries to come back. Gets met with a boot right to the mush. Kick to the midsection. Kick to the back, double stop. Hallowick was in a very precarious position, using that to his advantage. Well, the side stepping. Ooh, really wise move. Hallowick had blocked the space jam and instead caught Eric Will with an arm ringer and threw his entire arm into the mat. It's all about leverage and momentum, which Hallowick has plenty of, especially against a larger opponent. And it seems like we're not feeling out Hallowick was able to learn the way Eric Royal uses his arsenal and was able to combat it right there. I'm really impressed with Howard Wicked. Right? Howard Wicked just two, pulling away on the three, arm uh, of Eric Royal over that top rope. Ooh! Some insult to injury there. Those ropes, what people don't realize, are actually steel cable. And imagine that reverberating against your trapped arm. Now stomping away that big knee lift to the upper arm, that bicep and shoulder area of Eric Royal. Eric now trying to fight him off. And again, as Eric Royal is a power wrestler, a lot of his key offense is relying on him having full control of his of his strength and his body, and that's going to be very difficult for him to muster if one of his shoulders is out of commission. Oh, and again, going back to utilizing the ropes. I mean, it's dirty, it's dastardly, but it'll take a lot out of you. Yeah, it sure will, and he's using the full extent of that count that Bryce Remsburg gives him. I really oh, like Halloween's oh, strategy oh, here. But Eric, Eric able to power out of it. Will he, no, oh, wait a minute. Hollow Wicked using those elbows, driving them to the back of the head. Now, just trying to dislocate the shoulder of Eric Royal. Cover one, two. Trying to take it to the four score, I understand. Hollow Wicked, I think, having some exception to the fact that that was only a two count. Yeah, there was there was almost like he had to take a moment of acceptance that that was not the end of the match before he went back to work on that arm. Oh, making it clear he knows what he's trying to go for as he drives his foot through the face of Eric Royal. Maybe Hollow Wicked was kicked too hard earlier. I don't know. Or something. Royal now rocking Hollow Wicked. Big headbutt. Oh. Trying to use the what strength he does have for that overhead suplex. Not working out for him. Still focused, targeting that arm. Wrenching away. High angle arm bar. This could be a quick submission right here. <laughs> Eric Royal is in obvious immense pain. I mean, the sudden movement, the jerkiness of pulling that arm bar at such a high angle tears away at your shoulder, puts pain on your elbow. Trying to go for the high points of the mask is Eric Royal. That's a sign of desperation. As yet again, another divorce core arm does not get him the pinfall. You see he went for almost a helock-like hold on that left arm as he went for the cover. Was it enough and just tearing away, continuing to pound away on that left arm of Eric Royal. Now Hollow Wicked climbing up top. That's a symbol is just throwing that arm with all of the velocity he can into the canvas. But now he's ascending to the top row. Oh, Eric, oh. Able, Eric able to recover, getting back up on his feet, trying to use whatever he has left to try to meet Hollow Wicked up top. You saw him go for this superplex attempt before. We're going to see it now. Yeah, even at not full strength, he's able to rock Hollow Wicked with an uppercut and meet him on the top turnbuckle. A precarious position. He almost lost his footing there for a second. Maybe a little worse for wear. Oh, wait a minute! Able to connect that superplex off the top. You see he's holding on to his arm. He can't go for the cover right away. I think he was more so trying to buy his some time with that suplex than he was going for the victory. 
create, hopefully create some distance and bring us back to an opportunity for him to take back control. Okay, that was three, but okay. Well, that was not the three fans that Hollow Wicked really needed. We get it, we get it, Phil. But it was a three. Uh, yes, no, I, I understand. Oh, I just yeah, no myself. Writing down that three comes after two. I know you need to know these things. There's the overhead suplex Eric Rowe's been looking for all match long. Ooh. Following it up with yet another. Making up for lost time is Eric Royal. Talk about he is one of the best late night, late game players in professional wrestling, and we're seeing that out of him right now. Eric. Coming in. Hollow Wicked being sent off the ropes. Drops him across his knee. Cover one, two, and no, no. Didn't he, didn't get full coverage of the pin. I wonder if that shoulder is still bothering him and he wasn't able to make full coverage of it because of that. Bryce looked confused there for a second. It was only a two. Eric Wicked. They're coming the in. Attack again. Oh! Ooh. Step up in Zagiri caught him there. But Eric Rowe weaving under, using the momentum to get Hollow Wicked on his shoulders. He's having a hard time with his arm. Oh, but still able to rock Hollow Wicked. Cover one, two. Oh, ha, ha. Oh, well, that's the great thing about Royal using Hollow Wicked's momentum to guess it. He didn't need all of his upper body strength to get him on the shoulders because of it. Really smart wrestling out of the ace of the minute land. Crowd trying to show their support for Eric Royal. Eric trying to figure out what game plan does he have now to take out Hollow Wicked. Oh, but Hollow Wicked had a plan of his own. Coming off the ropes, now kicked to the back of the head. This match has won in many matches in the past, and oh, look at no. this. Tearing away at the arm. That submission fully locked in the Kimura. I wonder if it was unwise for Howard Wicked to not go for a pinfall after that Yakuza kick to the back of the head, but I think he wants to see Eric Royal tap out. Eric's gonna tap, Eric's gonna tap. Reaching, clawing, screaming to try to get to the ropes. Will he make it? Oh, and he does, just barely. His fingertips, you saw, were scraping at that bottom rope. But pounding away in the arm, a sense of frustration has overcome Howler Wicked as, he, as he's just going after that arm with reckless abandon. You know, the, I mentioned that panic that I saw Hollow Wicked have before, and I think we're seeing it again. He's trying to think of everything he can do to take out Eric Royal, and even if it means separating the shoulder off of his body. Might be trying to go down for a cross arm breaker of sorts. Eric Royal, look at this, taking him down. He has Hollow Wicked by the rest of oh! his face. Bam! Look at that, Eric Royal with the win. It literally took Eric Royal taking control of Hollow Wicked and yanking him up to get the space to him, but he did it. And in the main event of Don't You Forget About Me,